Hi, my name's Katrinka and I am one of the f new designers for Free Spirit Fabrics. I actually can't even believe I'm saying those words right now because I am so excited that I'm going to have my own co collection from Free Spirit Fabrics. I, before I show you the designs, I thought I'd kind of tell you a little bit about my background. I am born and raised in Pittsburgh. I was one of those kids that just kind of loved to get my hands dirty. I loved to paint, I loved to draw, I loved to sew. I just always loved to be creating something with my hands. And in fact, I have something to show you today. I had found this when I made at age five. My mother actually saved this all these years. And it's a little sampler. Back then they didn't actually have embroidery hoops. They actually had like, my mother made it out of a hanger. So talk about upcycle. So this is something that I did at age five. And I also would be one of those children that would go around the neighborhood and I would be selling my little drawings of bunnies and rabbits. I mean, bunnies and clowns and whatever little five-year-olds draw and that is how I guess I started my 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 path to being a creative person my mother was one of the biggest influence in my life I studied classical ballet and so what I was going to do is I was actually going to be a little uh, I was studying to classical ballet and I was going to be a ballerina and my mother named my name Katrinka so that is the name that I go by now as a designer dedicating this to my mother because she was definitely one of the influence of my life and I then I decided instead of being a ballerina and on stage I went behind stage and so I studied to be a I got a master's degree in costume design I stayed in that area for quite some time and then I had the opportunity to get a job at Cal Casual Corner, which was a, an apparel company, and I was their fabric designer as well as their fashion illustrator. And then in 1998, I came down to South Carolina. Again, I had another opportunity to be a textile designer for a lot of large corporations down here in South Carolina designing textiles. And then after that, I decided when my kids graduated and they're out of the house and my husband and I are now um, empty nesters, I decided to start creating my own designs. And here I am creating those. And before I do start talking about my first collection, I really wanted to talk about how I was inspired by these Into the Woods collection. My husband and I had the opportunity to go to Oregon for a wedding for a good friend of mine, and we decided to make it into a vacation. And what we ended up doing was afterwards, somebody had told us to go try some trails out at Mount Hood. And so we did, we, we found a trail that was gonna lead us to some beautiful falls. So we got on the trail and we walked and it was supposed to be seven miles long and we're walking and walking and um, it's probably later after the seven miles, the, fa the falls weren't there yet. And so in my mind, as a typical woman, I'm trying to, in my mind, I'm getting all worried as my husband's behind me just enjoying the view and not even, thinking about you know the end result and I was all I kept thinking about was like where are the falls why is it taking so long oh my god we're lost this is we're lost I don't I, maybe we're not on the right path and and so but needless to say we did get there but all I have to say is I did a lot of worrying and not really enjoying the walk so when I got back from our vacation I re really reflected on that walk and I realized it's it's a metaphor to life right now, searching for being on a path and constantly thinking about your destination and not enjoying that moment. I really truly didn't enjoy that moment at that time because I was so worried about where I was going. Was I on the right path? And I truly feel that that's probably what we're all going through in life right now, especially with the COVID and not really and slowing our life down. So what I did was I studied eco printing. When I came back from that, um, vacation, I decided to really look into what eco printing was about, and that's how I designed my collection. And eco printing, for those who don't know, is the process of taking natural leaves and going out into the woods and going out into nature and enjoying it and taking these natural leaves, applying a mordant to it, and I lay the leaves on either fabric or uh, watercolor paper. And once you do that, you wrap it up and you put it into a turkey baster for two hours. Yes, a turkey baster, and I do it all outside. Side. And then when you come in, you take the, the leaves off of the of the paper and it leaves these beautiful imprints. And that's how I designed the Into the Woods. So all of my designs are actually created from natural process called eco printing. And it really did truly help me to slow down my life. And really now when I'm out in the woods, I literally are, um, I'm enjoying 
the nature and kind of slowed down my life. So let's go and sh I, I can't wait to show you the collection. So let's go and see the collection and I'll talk more about that. Okay, so this is the exciting part. I get to show you the full collection. There's actually 24 designs. I'm really excited about this. And the way I designed it was showing, um, I did t two color palettes. I did a warm color palette and a cool color palette. So I have beautiful greens and then going into some blues and then some aquas and then going into some beautiful purples and pinks and then I do the warmer colors which is you know the burnt sienna and oranges and of course yellow. So what I thought I wanted to show you today was kind of show you a little bit of the before and after. So this is actually eucalyptus leaves and this is how the eco printing looks originally but then I put it into the computer and I manipulate the color and I put it into repeats so now this design actually is this beautiful eucalyptus leaves in an aqua color. This was one of my favorites, so I did definitely do it in more than one colorway. I did it in a beautiful purple as well as in a green. The other kind of leaves I think are really beautiful, especially for North Carolina and South Carolina, is the dogwood trees. So this is a dogwood tree leaf, but look how gorgeous that ended up being. And just the textures and just the movement of the leaves I just think are absolutely beautiful. And then if you take the other then doing it in a different color, I kind of used the same kind of design of the dogwood tree, but putting it in a different colorway really makes it diff very different. The other attempt I did is I used mostly leaves from the trees, but I did try um, rose petals. And believe it or not, these are rose petals. And so the original I have right here, this is the original rose petals. And to me, I was like, oh my God, this does not work. But what I did was by the time I put it into the computer, played with color, it just turned into this gorgeous textures, which I absolutely love. And then I also have um, some oak leaves as well. And even just seeing these oak leaves, but then when you do, these are oak leaves as well, but just putting it into a different colorway, just showing a lot of texture, a lot of movement. Okay, so I actually, when I think of a collection, I definitely think of the, the end product because I, I do so. So I was thinking of this collection, I wanted to be versatile. I really wanted to show, especially for art quilters or regular quilters or sewists, um, making apparel, making home deck, I really wanted this collection to be versatile. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of some of the things that I had made. This is a sunset. Uh, I did a sunset just using like a mosaic. It's really a raw applique, but I really wanted to show how like you could use all the fabrics that I designed and make it beautiful of the sunset and then even the reflection of the water. I also did a little bit more of a contemporary look of a like kind of like a patchwork and how beautiful that could be. I designed and created this pattern, which I called Tropical View. And it's just taken all my fabrics again and seen how beautiful art quilts can be. So I did a lot of leaves and some florals on there. And then I did also a couple little floral ones. Um, I did a little flower called Flower Dance. And then this, I used Laura Hines design. So this is a designer called Laura Hines and I just did one of her patchworks and I thought it was just the fabric using other free spirit fabrics as well and how fun that, that ended up being. And then this one, I did a um, contemporary look of just kind of was very conceptual of what I think of like the rings of a tree. So again, I used a lot of the fabrics. I kind of wanted my fabrics to be more, to use them like how people use batiks. And so it has a lot of texture, a lot of movement. So as you can see, it's just really fun. It's just really can, when you put all the colors together, it just becomes beautiful quilts. And then of course over here is just a basic, I try to do a little bit more of a traditional, to me this is traditional for me. And so using half square triangles, but just using it in a cool color palette. But also this could work in a multicolored color palette as well as a, you know, a warm color palette too. So um, that is my creation. I really enjoy this and hope that you really make some beautiful designs and I can't wait to see what you make. Uh, definitely keep in touch with me at Katrinka Design. I'm on Instagram and my website. Just um, have fun and be creative and just find your inner soul and just make beautiful product just because you love to sew. So happy sewing and thank you.